He is the professor, PGSIPU Delhi. He has got very good and wide experience in teaching, entrepreneurship, and including research and development with specialization in computer science and engineering. He is a postdoctoral fellow. He has uh, around 152 accepted and published research papers and book chapters in reputed papers, journals, conferences, and a very eminent personality has agreed to deliver his lecture. Welcome to you, sir. Now over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so we much, sir. Welcome you for the session, sir. Thank you. Start. No, so start. Can we start now? Yeah. Yes, sir, please. OK, uh, so uh, thank you very much uh, for the introduction. And uh, I really thanks to uh, Zabiha and her team and uh, the HOD, sir, uh, for inviting me, the uh, college management, all the faculty members. Uh, I'm really happy to uh, share my uh, point of view uh, on Internet of Things uh, that is uh, an innovative uh, multidisciplinary approach and its related startups. See, uh, means uh, um, I would like to uh, means all the audience. It is very difficult to find audience in this online new pandemic era. Isn't it? So uh, our scheduled time was I think 11 o'clock and uh, we uh, I requested uh, let us uh, wait for two, three minutes. I also completed one of <laughs> some of the task uh, related to uh, my other jobs in the meantime uh, and <clears throat> the thing is uh, means uh, now in this uh, difficult uh, uh, time where they, we are not able to uh, interact face to face uh, it is really uh, now uh, a very uh, pathetic condition where means we really need uh, that things should uh, be uh, means we should be normal from new normal to normal i think uh, th that will be the right terminology that uh, we uh, come from uh, new normal to uh, the normal condition uh, that is the uh, pre-pandemic era. OK, so now let us come to our topic. Uh, I will really try uh, that as I was uh, means informed by Zabiha that uh, uh, I have to give a talk on. Um, I have been invited by the incubation cell of the college, so uh, I was just wondering that uh, uh, I am uh, I'm a person from uh, I'm a professor and uh, I am a uh, I'm a I'm I'm a person who is from research background and uh, uh, also uh, although have my experience in uh, Internet of Things. Internet of Things means uh, I will be just coming up. We have enough time to uh, uh, cover all the topics because uh, two hours and one and a half hour to two hours time is really a good time to discuss things and uh, to engage the audience for such a long time i think uh, is a difficult task for uh, see, uh, so we will be uh, uh, means uh, as far as uh, the my experience is concerned uh, <clears throat> i have uh, experience in distributed systems and its uh, uh, related areas so uh, as the my topic also says that uh, uh, an innovative multidisciplinary approach and its related startups okay so we will be covering a lot of information related to IoT, no doubt about it. And uh, as uh, uh, we, our main topic is also related to startups also. So in the end, I will be uh, discussing something related to the IoT based startups. Uh, let me tell you uh, one thing uh, that in this uh, uh, current talk, I, I would like to tell you that uh, I also have ex experience of running my uh, running the startups also means I uh, remain associated with multiple startups from post I think 2010 onwards. So uh, I was associated with a publication house and uh, that publication house uh, uh, means a team of uh, means obviously that that was a teamwork uh, by remaining in teaching one cannot uh, uh, run a full fledged startup. So there were uh, people so why I'm telling you this experience is that because uh, to make to make myself legitimate that yes, I am a legitimate person so that I, I can also speak on startups also because this is my experience. Actually, I have uh, uh, been associated with continuously from uh, 2009 2010 onwards. I am associated with the startups. So Bhave Books was the uh, was the publication house right now that is being run by the uh, 
um, that is run by the Kataria publications. It has uh, means we got the idea uh, from the uh, means. See what what I have seen is uh, I have seen the decline of uh, education. Means we all the uh, educational uh, professionals because what I Zabia I think we have uh, professors with us, isn't it? Professors and students uh, with us, you know. So I think it can be a candid talk between uh, uh, us uh, for one or two hours. We can uh, we can have interactive sessions. Means uh, also in the meantime, also if you want to ask something, you can ask me. So yes, we have seen the decline of. Um, I will be connecting uh, my my experience with the uh, with how a particular startup uh, is run actually. Okay. So the thing is, uh, uh, we have seen a constant decline in the education system. So uh, how decline means what what kind of decline it is? It is the decline is when I completed my BTEC or my peers uh, which are sitting um, uh, in the audience uh, part have all studied in their engineering or uh, graduation time with the standard books like uh, we used to study uh, the core man for uh, algorithm design analysis like these kinds of books Sarta Sahani standard books we used to follow. We used to study those books. We were not able to identify uh, we got the uh, information related to uh, our syllabus from uh, from from the various topics which are there. We have to identify all the topics from various books. We have to collect the information we have to because at that particular time uh, we were not having that much support of uh, the Google. All, all the Google was there. We were used to uh, we used to find information on net also, but still we were more uh, uh, inclined towards the standard books. Then we came into teaching and uh, I'm I'm a person by choice, not by force into teaching. So because this is my passion, teaching is my passion. So I really like to interact with my students and I really love my uh, this job. Uh, it gives me a lot of satisfaction when I teach. So uh, the thing is uh, uh, there was a decline then from standard books. I'm not talking about the uh, uh, the IITs or I'm not talking about the uh, the triple IITs or uh, I'm talking about the uh, the conventional engineering colleges and uh, conventional universities. There are many other uh, this thing. So at that time the 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 obviously means at, at a particular time the syllabus for every uh, uh, means uh, uh, university was different at that time. So there was a, a bloom of uh, um, a boom of uh, kind of uh, uh, publishers who came with the idea of the textbook rather a textbook that is just confined to the syllabus of a particular university. OK, so at, uh, at that time uh, I also uh, wrote uh, certain books. My I have my books on Java and computer graphics, multi uh, distributed system. Many I, I wrote many textbooks at that time uh, in collaboration with other uh, 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 other co-authors. So then we saw there is another kind of decline that we saw that there was a uh, uh, we used to study the books which were related to uh, solution books kind of things. That is a key. Obviously, it is not new. So what I am telling you is I'm telling you is uh, that. Just a second, just a second. Yeah, what I am actually telling you is that uh, uh, how those uh, textbooks related publishers came into existence. That was that were the Indian publishers. They found that the trend is changing. OK, the trend is changing. The need of the students is uh, uh, changing. OK, and at, at a particular time, engineering was related to either REC, that is a regional engineering college, or we nowadays we call them as NITs and IITs. And after that, state universities, some state universities. But now after there, after 2000, I think after 2000 or 2001 onwards, there were multiple universities and earlier the engineering colleges were uh, confined to South India only a major uh, engineering colleges was, were in South India, but then they, a boom came and lot of engineering colleges uh, came into existence. So huge number of uh, population of uh, students, science students uh, went into the engineering side. So to cater their demand, the kind of quality the students have, I'm not uh, exactly talking about the quality. We have to be very uh, frank and we cannot be uh, uh, means we have to be we, we have to see that what are the requirements is OK. So I'm just telling you that wherever there is a gap, wherever there is a gap and you can fulfill that gap efficiently. 
than a startup is born. Means I'm what I'm telling you is I'm telling you uh, with my core experience. If you can see that, yes, there is a gap is there. Uh, you can identify the gap and. Let me tell you one thing that uh, nowadays uh, the means we all faculty members, we all researchers, we have to think it uh, in into uh, thing. We have to look the things into from the different perspective. We are from the past of Chanakyas, isn't it? So we can make if we can make the student, we can also uh, make the future also, isn't it? So nowadays there are multiple colleges, multiple universities which are supporting faculties also uh, which are running their own, uh, which are helping the students and which are running their startups uh, in collaboration with multiple this thing. So some some are providing consultancies, some are providing uh, this thing. So now the time has came that we should not be dependent only on uh, this thing. So we have to give certain uh, means if you have some kind of caliber, you can talk to your HODs, you can talk to your seniors and you you should the, because see nowadays nowadays we have to see that the boom has come into the startup. The Indian government is really serious uh, and where we can find the startups startups are actual startups which are emerging is in with the with our students only isn't it so who will nurture those students there there should be a uh, collaboration of experience and energy but remember this thing that nowadays a 25 year or 22 year student is much more intelligent this is a very advanced uh, kind of uh, community nowadays which is emerging which are means nowadays th those days are gone that I have 20 years of experience I am ahead of you no in two or three years he can bypass you uh, a particular student is uh, just running his own and I know more than 50 students personally who have got funding of more than 1.5 CRs I am on the list of uh, uh, on, on the Delhi University uh, related incubation cells uh, where I have uh, been uh, the uh, uh, means have judged the startups where the funding of uh, uh, 5 lakhs, 7.5 lakhs, 10 lakhs. And uh, uh, let me tell you one more experience of mine that uh, I also uh, we also means we also do uh, one conference that is uh, international conference on innovative uh, computing and communication that is uh, right now which is going to run into the fifth version of the conference. Why I am sharing you every uh, uh, point which I will be uh, telling you is uh, is uh, re exactly related to the incubation cell. Don't worry about this thing. So uh, you will be uh, uh, means all the audience which we which are listening me or maybe they will be listening to me in near future with, through my uh, talk uh, should know that our ro uh, role as a teacher is not only to run startup. Our role is also to motivate the other uh, also like other faculty members, other colleges, other institutions so that they can come up with the new ideas where we are away from the conventional kind of ideas because see whenever a startup word will come now the non conventional thing will come by default non conventional like for example what is the difference between conventional and non conventional I think you all were be knowing but still uh, uh, five to ten years back computer engineering was considered to be as a non conventional kind of uh, branch and uh, the uh, your uh, mechanical or electrical or civil they were con con considered as the conventional but nowadays computer science engineering is also not have uh, is now not uh, a conventional branch it has also become a uh, it is not a non conventional one it is a conventional one nowadays new branches are emerging like uh, ai machine learning and deep learning iot based and there are so many names are there but the uh, still uh, very frankly speaking uh, the we have we we still have to figure out that what actually the uh, the uh, the goal of a particular uh, the engineering um, uh, line is and where we are going to send those students are they going to do the ms or they are still they are able to find uh, the jobs in india only cholo that is a different story uh, uh, i was telling you about uh, the uh, the Yes, I was telling you about the ICICC being a teacher when I uh, when I got uh, I get this kind of opportunity. We have we we always try to share as much of the as in, uh, information which we can share. Uh, am I audible Jahibi Zabiha? Yes, sir, very much. 
yeah uh, so i think uh, things are going fine so uh, in yes, in between i think uh, we should uh, uh, communicate also because uh, right now this is the only way because my mobile is also far away from me so in case if any problem comes uh, i will not be able to identify i am speaking with a with my laptop this should not happen in this uh, um, okay so i was telling you about the icicc 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 what is the uh, significance of icicc is i'm not uh, 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 making the brand name of ICICC that itself is a brand name. We get 900 papers. Uh, uh, last year we got 900 papers and currently uh, it, that conference is going to happen in February and we already have received around 500 papers for in between 400 to 500 papers. So what I was telling you is uh, in uh, just post pandemic, uh, sorry, just pre pandemic era uh, in 2020, that when the third version of the ICICC was was uh, into progress, the second version was uh, we uh, we did at the uh, the Czech Republic, that is the Technical University of Ostrava. And the third version, when we did it, we did the first ever conference on where startups and uh, the research papers, to the best of my knowledge, uh, if uh, I'm wrong, you can just correct me after the talk. Uh, I will just not share this thing because to the best of my knowledge, that was the only conference uh, that was the first conference until date. I have not found that kind of conference where startups and research papers were called simultaneously. Obviously, the days were different, but being from educational background, we did a lot of hard work to bring all the constituents or all the ingredients related to startups on one platform. OK. So you can just uh, visit ICICC that in, you can see the 2020 version. We we did it with the incubation cell only. We did it with the incubation cell only. That is the uh, Delhi University Shahid Sukhdev College of Business Studies incubation cell. That is the where startup meets investor program we did. And uh, uh, we did the where startup meets investor program. See, what was the core idea behind this is uh, just a second, just a second. Uh, I'm sorry, there are certain side effects of uh, when you are giving presentation from your home. So the thing is, uh, I was telling you that uh, we did the uh, the conference uh, on uh, the my slide is not working. Yet. So what I was telling you is uh, that is uh, related to uh, the where startup meets investor program. That is a program which uh, the conventional conferences can uh, follow where you can call the startups out. The core idea behind the uh, uh, behind that was that we are able to uh, just I'm starting my uh, with the you know Internet of Things uh, in a moment. Uh, you can in the meantime, you can just read the definition of Internet of Things. So core idea be behind was that wherever the startup is there, wherever the startup is there, there should be a research idea behind it, isn't it? As we are going to bridge a particular gap in the real world, isn't it? See, startup is a something incubation cells. The people who are running the incubation cells, I have very high respect uh, uh, for those people and the people associated with them also. Because being a being a researcher, being a teacher, we are what we are. We, our job is not. Uh, I'm not saying that our job is not important, but to do to connect it. Uh, with the practical world also that is very very important what is the lacking behind what is the lacking point of indian research and the western research is that indian researchers are doing their research and this is a this is a naked truth we all have to accept it even me myself has also done the same thing and most of the faculty members uh, most of the researchers in india are doing the same thing most i'm not uh, i'm not uh, 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 saying that it is quite possible that some of the uh, the researchers are doing uh, genuine work, but when I completed uh, way back in my my PhD at that time, and obviously a completion of PhD and the starting point of the PhD, we all researchers understand this thing because uh, the important point is where we start the PhD. Okay, where will we start the research? The condition at that time actually matters because once we are in the into the pipeline, we cannot change the way. So. 
the thing is uh, what i am telling you is that uh, the uh, wherever there is a gap wherever there is a gap we have to fill that particular gap and in research also when there is a gap there is a gap uh, 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 in the research also whenever we are able to identify that yes this particular algorithm is uh, uh, giving the complexity of order of n if we are able to uh, uh, make a particular uh, algorithm which uh, has the a uh, complexity of order of log n for example which is lesser than the n value and the research has happened isn't it but this is now what is this this is an incremental kind of research in, in there are three types of research papers isn't it there are if we broadly cl classify the research paper there are three types of research paper. one is the review kind of work isn't it that is the most uh, i uh, some people say that is the most easier but what i uh, personally feel is that writing a genuinely a genuine res, uh, review paper is a, is the most difficult task to study so much of information uh, for example if uh, from 2000 to 2020 if i am gathering the information to you have to just read the literature of uh, 10 years and you have to present that uh, literature into such a, uh, a beautiful manner in, in into um, uh, that the authors are able to uh, mark my words okay listen my these words very important uh, these are very important words which i am telling you right now because that is the crux behind the survey paper is now it is huge number of students huge number of researchers just go and their their guide also says okay just write a research paper a survey paper and you, know, you will be aware about your uh, what is uh, going on in your uh, area and after that you can start no survey papers are very very important kind of work remember this thing whenever you are writing a survey paper for example it is between 2015 to 2020 okay or 2021 now into we are into 2021 just that is also just going to complete so so 5 to 6 years journey of research work you have to write in a single paper of 10 to 20 pages isn't it so what is the importance of that particular paper is that it is not important just to write or just to have that particular information into the survey paper the important point is why a reader will come to you why you have come to listen me frankly speaking why you have come to listen to me isn't it the huge number of uh, talks are happening i can this information you can find everywhere it means internet of things i obviously i have gathered some uh, quality information for uh, for you and in one talk you are now you will be aware about iot so that is the idea behind isn't it yes okay uh, ashish sir is coming and uh, 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 means obviously uh, uh, you can consider uh, you will be considering that a good speaker has come and if we will be listening to him after the talk we will be aware about that what actually iot is what are the possible areas of research which are happening in uh, in the in the iot so the thing is whenever we are writing a survey paper that has as much of as much of diagrammatic representations comparative analysis isn't it just writing theory that uh, in 2015 uh, khanna and uh, singh has published this thing it is not like that it is not going to help the audience you have to write the survey paper uh, the taxonomy should be there that from where something is emerged see in six your you are actually saving the time of a reader you are actually saving the time of a reader of 5 to 6 years of time of of the journey he is going to complete in just reading one research paper that actually the is the mantra behind to write a survey paper is maybe i am i am speaking in a crude words but what i am actually telling you is the truth behind that what should be in your mind that when you are writing your paper should be such it, it should be designed in such a smart way that the reader once start should end isn't it that is the, the see the uh, what is the most uh, difficult part in in uh, um, in the publishing world is or what is the easiest uh, thing is to write uh, is obviously the easiest thing what i will say is to write a book okay remember this thing you will say that sir book has uh, 400 pages 300 pages no that is not difficult you writing a 5 400 books is not a difficult but yes writing it research paper is difficult than to write a book but when you are writing the introduction of that particular paper that becomes more difficult when you are writing the uh, introduction part of your research paper and the most difficult part of writing is the 
to write the abstract of the of the uh, of the research paper because abstract is going to give you the exact picture it should actually give you the exact because see i'm i'm i am uh, uh, judging more than uh, uh, two to three uh, uh, sci papers in one week time per per week time so i am not able to read the entire paper i don't have that much of time and I, I seriously don't have that much of time. So whenever, just by reading the abstract of paper, with my experience, I'm able to identify that yes, the researchers are worth to give uh, to give further my time or not. So abstract is very very important. You have to be, abstract should be uh, uh, written in such a manner that it should give the entire picture of your paper. It means after reading the abstract, the the, the there are various kinds of readers are also available well, maximum of the readers uh, uh, generally uh, read the uh, the survey paper the, the abstracts only okay so the thing is uh, just a second sir in talk acha main abhi talk mein hu i will talk to you So I was uh, just uh, giving you uh, my information uh, related to uh, this thing uh, that uh, uh, I was telling you about the abstract. So now let us come to the Internet of Things part. See IoT. What is uh, IoT? Is IoT is a communication network of physical devices. Uh, as we all know that uh, IoT is a uh, means Internet of Things basically means wherever there is uh, some kind of communication is happening some kind of interaction is happening there the uh, means uh, uh, there will be internet of things will happen and interaction is happening with the help of uh, in between things okay and it is uh, uh, means what i will be proving is that internet of thing is the uh, is, a, is is something which has multidisciplinary approach okay and it has originated from distributed systems. It has originated from the distributed systems. So that will be the uh, core idea behind uh, my talk will be. OK, so in IoT, the aim or the goal of IoT is basically human to human interaction to make the in effective interaction between the human to human and human to computer. OK, so that obviously it, it is reducing our effort uh, drastically. And Internet of Things is uh, uh, is obviously it is uh, something which is the core idea uh, behind smart cities. Uh, the the Indian government, uh, uh, the aim of Indian government is uh, to uh, make hundred smart cities. Uh, we have to see um, that uh, how much they will be able to do. But yes, uh, important point is uh, uh, I'm not going to become political, but obviously we should not be dependent on our government for everything. Government has plans. Obviously, we all know uh, the people sitting in the government departments and uh, we know the style of working uh, of them uh, of theirs. So important point is it is the the uh, whenever uh, a, a country is seen that it is not the effective governance all only effective governance it is also the citizen of those uh, uh, of that particular country and being the citizen of that uh, country and you uh, being uh, uh, representing the incubation cell you uh, on invitation of incubation cell you all should have uh, those ideas that we should not be dependent on the on the government we should be coming up with the uh, the smart ideas smart technologies and uh, Internet of Things is the backbone of the smart city. I can tell you this thing. The Internet of Things is the backbone. OK, so uh, uh, you can just see that the kind of uh, technologies it is into automation, embedded systems, wireless sensor networks, cloud, AI and uh, control approaches, data science, automation. We all, we will be uh, watching these all uh, things uh, in our uh, coming slides. No problem in that. But these are just general words. We all know these things. OK, so let us see uh, more uh, into the internet of things internet of things is that internet of people okay and when internet connects all the things it becomes internet of things so we can say that uh, the a, a obviously when we are uh, connected on our wired technology you understand the wired technology wired that we teach that com communication the computer networks which we teach generally is 
maximum is related to your wired technology only which is around 50 60 70 years uh, of history which which means at the time at the time the computer was originated at that time the uh, when we started connecting the uh, the computers with the uh, the wires the wired technology came into existence okay so when we become wireless then the uh, everything changed okay so uh, the internet of things uh, obviously in the wire technology we need uh, ip addresses of a particular uh, uh, of a particular laptop or a computer some, something to connect it similarly in internet of things we need unique identifiers isn't it that is similar to your internet uh, uh, the, the ip address only okay and uh, there are various uh, see the way you have studied computer networks you can just correlate with the uh, the internet of things also as far as the communication is concerned uh, there will be a physical layer data link layer and uh, the network layer there will be various kinds of layers will be there and those layers uh, maybe the nomenclature could be different okay so but you can just imagine yes there is that is the that is also a distant variant of uh, the uh, of the wired technology okay i remember this thing that the kind of word we choose when we are uh, representing the the technology or the research is very very important i i use the term distant variant okay so it has huge difference means obviously lot of things have emerged in between uh, relatively iot is new relatively i'm telling you okay as far as the other uh, uh, technologies are concerned like mobile ad hoc networks for example my phd was in uh, mobile ad hoc networks is only uh, is into uh, mobile then i completed my post doc into uh, the uh, flying ad hoc networks so the thing is uh, i was also telling you about my journey also means there was a uh, just in one minute i'm co completing this thing so uh, when that i was talking about the textbooks then the the came uh, there there came the need of solution books so we needed uh, the solution books keys okay solution papers obviously that was a degradation of the uh, the education system that students are studying from the solution books but someone will cater the requirements uh, and uh, uh, then uh, in 2016 17 uh, i just uh, quit the the bhave books and that was uh, take, uh, taken up by the uh, the kataria publication that catsons and that is one of the biggest uh, publishers and still that is uh, working we are still uh, giving the uh, the content uh, uh, management for that particular uh, publication house then we started the uh, group of researchers we started the uh, universal innovator okay universal innovator is supporting the various educational institutes uh, for uh, the the core idea was to give the uh, the the online publishing you can say or you can say that the research related conferences so we are collaborating with various institutions like uh, jnu like uh, delhi university like igdtw and with some foreign universities also like uh, university of milan university of uh, perua in italy and there are multiple universities in europe and in uk also uh, so we did multiple conferences uh, and uh, so uh, and apart from that we also helped the institution to uh, uh the do the workshops we also did one thing that i was just telling about the where startup meets investor program so in 2020 in where startup meets investor program we brought we we, we provided the uh, funding to 22 startups we selected around 29 startups and out of that 22 startups got shortlisted for the funding but just the pandemic started at that conference was in february uh, 2020 and in march i think the uh, the pandemic started so the funds dried up and some of the startups uh, got the funding but not everyone but still uh, being a, a from a research background being from an educational background we tried our level best to bring all the angel networks uh, vc funders we the 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 thai global network the startup india the government agencies and everyone was on one board at least and uh, obviously that was the first prototype of that kind of thing and uh, uh, due to pandemic uh, this thing so we are planning this thing in the, in the in the in the second version uh, maybe uh, in coming august and uh, we will be doing it with the we also came up one, with one more idea that one more unique idea that was the uh, international conference on innovative uh, uh, innovation and ideas towards patents we did the first conference on patents with the indira gandhi technical university for women okay so uh, the thing is uh, 
that was the first conference uh, on patents uh, means uh, so the thing is you have to identify what is actually <clears throat> the requirement uh, is there okay so you can come up with the idea it is quite possible that if one or two players are there into into a particular domain and you can you think that there are lot of uh, other uh, things which can be in, um, uh, given to the audience or the to the uh, to the users uh, which the current uh, uh, startups or the current uh, players are not able to provide you can come up with those idea that kind of incremental startups also have uh, a good chance of uh, uh, success one more thing i would like to tell you is that uh, see uh, there are obviously what india is india is a service industry we have to uh, uh, understand this thing and we have to um, accept this that yes we are not the makers of the software we are actually the Uh, uh, we are using those uh, uh, that particular software. We are uh, into the service industry, and uh, uh, we are using that particular software to make the uh, 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 to work on those softwares. Okay, the the Western countries are uh, um, are basically controlling the software industry, and they are producing the most of the uh, the new technologies are coming from there. I I cannot see any Indian publisher who is into research, whether it is Tata Macro. Uh, or a, any other publisher like Springer or uh, like elsewhere or I triple E if we call it as a if we can call them as ACM, which is actually serious about research is uh, and even I I cannot see the any initiative from the Indian government also into this particular direction. Obviously, we are uh, uh, trying to uh, come up with uh, some journals, uh, the, the list of. Uh, UGC journals and that that thing, but still that is just uh, gathering of uh, the information related to the other things. So still, lot of scope is there uh, where an Indian variant of uh, a publishing house is there, which is seriously uh, collecting research papers. We cannot see the I I I don't, I don't uh, know that uh, I I I'm pretty much sure that most of the uh, people are knowing about the importance of the uh, the. Validation of those journals also. Do do you do? Can anyone tell me about the validation of uh, the uh, the the journals or uh, uh, which the current uh, Indian education system, the research system, is looking for? I think not. So uh, the if obviously you have heard about it, but uh, you you are not going to connect it. If you know that Scopus SCI. And these all are your uh, S Scopus is the uh, is from the uh, your uh, elsewhere. That is the owner of uh, Scopus is elsewhere. Scopus is a is a kind of library which is actually collecting or validating all the research papers, all the uh, conferences, all the because we all are going for Scopus nowadays, isn't it? And and the best part is the <coughs> SCI. So the thing is, SCI is with earlier it was with Thomson Reuters, and then after that it uh, it uh, uh, came with the uh, your uh, um, uh, I think Clarivate. Uh, Clarivate actually uh, took that thing. So uh, the thing is, uh, uh, we have to identify uh, this thing that uh, uh, the uh, when an Indian entity is going to validate these journals. Obviously, with the, uh, you should have uh, means. One one should have that much of backup also, uh, kind of, because that is not an easy task, isn't it? So uh, I was telling you about the IoT, uh, uh, the unique identification numbers. IoT is uh, that internet internet working between the devices and physical objects. Okay, the technologies and solutions that enable the integration of real world data and services. So IoT ka jo major perspective hai, that is uh, obviously what are the things which are uh, objects which are actually connected is that is the sensors, actuators, mobile phones, electronic devices. And many other things. Okay, so the the major perspective of any IoT is anytime, anywhere, by anyone, and by anything. Okay, it it is available anywhere. It is available any at any moment, and by anyone or by anything. Okay, so what are the characteristics of IoT? Is connectivity means it should be connected with the infrastructure. Intelligence that is very much important. The extraction of knowledge from the generated data is important. And the sensor generate this data, and the this data. Just 
and this data should be interpreted obviously means whenever some kind of information is coming to the intelligent device and that information should be used in a proper manner by the device it should have the intelligence to use that particular uh, uh, information scalability that is one important concept what is the meaning of scalability is scalability is for example i will just tell you the meaning of scalability that is one of the core uh, characteristic of distributed system is also that is internet for example internet is growing day by day isn't it earlier up to, up to before 20 years for example it was scattering around uh, uh, 10000 uh, 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 processors now it is using uh, it is uh, uh, 10 million uh, uh, this thing so that is scalability is it and in future it can be 10 billion also okay it is a number 10 billion is a number which could be because when everything your tube light your remote your television your everything your agriculture devices everything if, uh, is on internet so just imagine that you have 10 billion unique identifiers which are connected with each other uh, directly or indirectly okay dynamic nature obviously dynamic nature you all understand the meaning of on the fly on the in, um, uh, uh, while running sensing sensing is one of the most important part of the iot network sensing is something you are you are uh, the the our sensors sensors you can say is the peripheral devices of iot is okay internal and uh, backbone we can call as the internet internet is a backbone isn't it and the sensing devices which are and obviously uh, our cpu is something which is uh, actually intelligence isn't it so sensing is something sensors are there for example on border areas there are sensors which are identifying the intruders for example isn't it smart centers are sensors are there on the border a sensor should be an intelligent sensor it should be able to identify between the a, a, if an animal is coming or a or a human being is coming isn't it so this way sensing becomes intelligent uh, 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 sensing becomes important sensors should could uh, should i cannot say could also have intelligence isn't it so heterogeneity is obviously when multiple types of architectures in if we uh, if we have some uh, 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 speakers, uh, sorry, if if we have some audience from the uh, Java background, which uh, which teach Java or understand Java, is that architectural neutral word you have understood is the uh, the or the uh, machine independence that is actually the uh, related to heterogeneity. The it is able to interact with various kinds of uh, architectures actually, isn't it? So uh, we in the Internet of Things, multiple types of hardwares, multiple types of technologies, multiple types of platforms are there where the internet of thing is connecting just imagine the kind of work you can do in uh, in the uh, in the iot area is iot is a very very broad area it is mother of all the sciences that's why the whole engineering branches come emerging out of uh, the iot area is security obviously security is a one aspect which is uh, what i will uh, feel i feel is is the aspect related to all the branches isn't it security is something which is uh, which itself is a, a very very big area and uh, uh, to make secure uh, remember this thing uh, i was just uh, reading a a news article uh, 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 two or three days back and uh, we are living in the world of competition we are living in the uh, in a uh, currently the world uh, where see being a researcher being a educationist i am telling you one thing very very clearly just come out of your boxes or you will perish believe me because if you will not upgrade yourself the uh, the the system is changing uh, the the our system is uh, emerging so uh, in in such a fast manner that you have to upgrade yourself okay so all the uh, the the faculty members which are listening me should should uh, come out of their box and uh, should uh, try to gather as much of information you you have to make yourself valuable for the system isn't it there is there is no scarcity of job remember this thing the scarcity of qualified and uh, 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 good quality workers actually we need right now so uh, why i am telling you this thing is that the world is changing very very fastly okay and just uh, i was just reading a news article because see just you all are listening to huge number of uh, talks related to uh, the IoT, related to machine learning, related to deep learning. You must be having around this much of uh, uh, certificates or uh, e-certificates of uh, the, uh, the talks in past two years. But important thing is to just have information. We can correlate uh, the 
things which are happening in our surroundings with the research also i was just reading one news article that uae's uae that united arab emirates is going to cancel is could cancel uh, the 20 billion uh, uh, dollars uh, more than that also it could be the f35 uh, it is going to purchase f35 f35 uh fifth generation aircrafts and also some reaper kind of reaper is a name of the uh your drones okay the one of the uh, latest drones uh, they are going to cancel and do you know what is the reason behind that is the reason behind that is obviously that is just the undercurrent of kind of news that is not actually uh, that has actually not happened but obviously when undercurrent is happening there is some kind of Uh, something is happening in the background also so the undercurrent is that the reason behind is the security of that particular uh, devices and the how the security is going to be compromised by the chinese uh, espionages they are going to uh, take all the information related to that thing and they can make the clones or they can sell that technology to the, to their similar kind of technology to their competitors so if the if Uh, see money is energy money 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 is power isn't it so the the kind of uh, 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 money or the dollars or the economy which he, they are using to secure themselves if their enemy is also having the same thing in in uh, for example if they have spent 20 billions and their and their enemy is going to have that kind of uh, technology even the uh, uh, similar kind of technology maybe uh, the variant of that particular technology which is not upgraded as that thing is still into 2 billion dollars then what is the usage of having this much of uh, this thing so security here becomes very very important the secure data transfer the security of your information and copying of the information by the chinese people uh, is uh, is the uh, uh, is they see what actually we all say that copying 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 copy no no that is not the actual that is actually the science that is that also is a science just by having some kind of uh, information just reading those that that information and just just having the kind of device you have and you are exactly designing that particular device that is not an easy task remember this thing that also need lot of uh, a lot of hard work uh, science is there that science is known as reverse engineering isn't it reverse engineering you have to uh, you have to uh, means bottom up and bottom down uh, top down so it, here it the approach will be the top down approach isn't it so see multiple simple things make one complex thing these all are not complex things these all are uh, i will say that old wine in new bottles that's all remember this thing if you will have this thing in your mind that these all are older technologies into the new perspective what actually the iot is it is a it is a networking only if i say that is that is a part of computer network then it becomes easy isn't it Uh, if we have uh, their uh, their ip addresses they are here some kind of unique identifier so what is the basics uh, what is the reason behind that unique identifier is obviously uh, in uh, in your machine uh, in your uh, ip v4 the number of uh, uh, users were lesser in com uh, in comparison to iot users because if we have lot of uh, uh, objects which we have to connect the the number will the numbers will be higher so this is the only difference i am not saying maximum of the people must be knowing this thing also but obviously some things are known to us but we are not able to imagine that so i am just telling you those uh, simple things uh, maybe my these things will be helping so uh, in 2008 the uh, the uh, so we have uh, crossed around 1 hour of our this thing and um, so uh, but still we have just started the iot but so students uh, the, the my audience must be thinking that uh, yes i am uh, uh, so is my talk uh, worth or i should uh, uh, means uh, continue like this or i should be uh, uh, concentrating on the the just the uh, facts related to purely related to iot uh, uh, if zabiha can tell me this things that yes audience is enjoying my talk or not and uh, because this way we can have a one second of uh, 10 to 20 seconds of break also zabiha can you listen me or uh, the hod sir <laughs> Yes, sir. Already right. we have uh, 50 plus uh, participants, and they are okay. definitely enjoying your uh, session, sir. Okay, so we are very nice, sir. The, we we are moving in the right direction, and uh, if we have oh, yes. uh, 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 faculty members with us, so we can give them in the independence to speak also. Uh, because we have not the students who are writing uh, something on my screen or are saying something else are not related to the talk okay so 
the thing is uh, no, now i will be coming up with one of some of the very interesting facts related to iot just in a moment so in 2008 the uh, total number of objects connected to uh, uh, means uh, of people number of people on the earth just imagine in 2008 itself we have crossed of the, the complete population okay be, uh, between uh, 2020 to 230 uh, means obviously the technology the 3g 4g 5g 5g is the backbone internet of thing is that the fast internet is the is the, is the most important thing which is the need of the hour is the whenever the fast internet will be available more iot technologies will come out of this thing with the uh, when the 5g will be available everywhere then the 6g will come and still the 6g has already arrived we are working on 6g also one book is coming on uh, of mine that is uh, we are I mean, obviously that is an edited book multiple authors will be uh, working on it i am not exp expert on uh, 5g 6g but yes uh, trying to uh, gather some information related to uh, all the areas so these are certain facts which you all have read uh, these are the functional advances uh, which are uh, which is uh, related to iot in 2000 rfid tags were there in 2000 it was related to surveillance in 2020 in current era uh, it is used to uh, locate the people and everyday objects but in 2000 uh, uh, later on tele operations tele presence the uh, modi ji is coming in our house he he will be we can see him our, uh, on our screen also uh, not only on our screen in our uh, maybe he is uh, in our room and uh, speaking to us uh, like this. So telepresence, teleoperations. Uh, for example, now even nowadays it is happening, but uh, it is not. It is a non-conventional. Maybe it becomes conventional in near future. future. The uh, AIMS doctor is providing an, uh, is doing an operation in a in a distant village of Kanyakumari. Maybe uh, uh, by sitting in Delhi and he is using the Internet of Things with the help of uh, certain. Uh, uh, robots uh, or uh, uh, the uh, he's performing an operation critical operation uh, uh, not by traveling to in the pandemic era he's not ready to travel to that particular so that is all is going to happen in your future with the help of iot with the help of the internet evolution okay so these are the uh, means uh, whatever there is here is i have given you the this thing you can just have a look on it Okay, so virtual reality or VR or AR technology, augmented reality that is going to happen with the help of IoT. See, both the areas are different. Now, my this thing is coming. Both the areas are related, but it is what I said. It is a multidisciplinary approach. Okay, but maybe in the periphery or maybe directly or indirectly, it is connected with IoT. Okay, so the thing is another important thing is the data, IoT data huge amount of data is uh, coming from the devices sensors applications and that data is measurable the important point is measurable so if the information is available in the offline world or in the physical world that uh, means industry needs those applications which actually can use that offline data into the online mode and can solve multiple problems, huge number of problems. For example, just consider uh, an example, uh, an automated vehicle, for example. Obviously, I will be, I was coming to, uh, to tell you about this thing in the Venet part, but still just imagine, uh, let us take example of a, a vehicle uh, which is being driven by a, uh, by a driver and that driver is not in the proper condition to drive how you will identify there is a camera and camera is there we cannot have n number of uh, uh, people who are monitoring all the cars isn't it so what what we need is the need with the need of the hour becomes a technology for example there is a camera is there and the cam in the camera it is actually watching the uh, the behavior of the your driver okay so if with the help of that camera that offline information which is coming out of that particular this thing in and if the that particular images are properly processed with the help of machine learning deep learning ai based technologies whatever it is it is so if it is identif it, it it is able to identify that this particular driver is going to come into problem 
the our limited resources on that particular problem platform isn't it there uh, there, there are highways but there is no hospital on a highway there are highways but there is no uh, ambulance uh, available on that particular highway so these are the even if it is available only one ambulance is there and if five uh, 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 people are coming simultaneously that what will happen two or three people are coming then what will happen so obviously important point is we have limited resources so technology is going to help us into identifying and obviously what is the most important part over here is to cut the reaction time i'm repeating these words to cut the reaction time means obviously that how it will help you all must be able to understand that to re to cut the re uh, reaction time it will save the, uh, the, the 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 person who is prone to accident and other important aspect to related is uh, uh, one aspect is after the accident or one is the before the accident isn't it we can also identify those people just before something uh, uh, some kind of accident happens so the those uh, um, uh, uh, means those safety measures can also come into play uh, uh, um, with the help of the technology now how this data is processed there are multiple platforms are like for example google cloud platform is there so now just see when i said multidisciplinary approach related to out, out this thing what is the cloud is doing over here what is cloud doing when we are studying about iot what is the role of cloud is no cloud is important part of iot is actually so you can see that cloud is playing an important role in iot related services so with, that was the I'm, I will be trying to prove every at every moment that IOT is a multidisciplinary approach. OK, so there can be counter questions. There can be a different perspective when we are looking into it. But still, uh, my uh, goal of this thing is one goal is to tell you about the innovations, to tell you about the uh, the uh, how the IOT related this thing is. I will be coming and also to tell you in detail about the IOT because maximum of the uh, the audience is not related to the uh, startups so um, uh, the you all are technical people so you also should have the information related to iot also so google cloud platform the information which we are sending is to the cloud that will be processed over there and into the intelligible form uh, some kind of instructions are uh, uh, instructions are coming uh, to us and uh, uh, OK, some kind of important instructions are coming uh, to the user uh, which will be helpful for uh, that particular user. OK, so there can be queries also uh, that is uh, big data tools are also there. Zero infrastructure management is also there uh, which can help your business and we can analyze the uh, performance of, of a particular place. OK, so this is all about Internet of Things is now let us see one of the let us pray that uh, the network not breaks in between and uh, so uh, let me just uh, tell you the essence uh, related to our talk is uh, that is we have uh, certain emerging IoT variants and its areas which are I was telling you that this is one of the uh, very important uh, kind of slide is that Internet of uh, underwater things. What are the emerging areas of uh, IoTs? Means Sanets. This is one of the latest one. OK, so C ad hoc network. That means underwater things like C ad hoc networks. So uh, we are trying to connect multiple things. Uh, so people who are uh, trying to uh, work into the uh, they are into their early uh, uh, days of their research and they are trying to find a new area. So Senate can be one of the area. Manet is uh, the another thing mobile ad hoc networks. Uh, it means uh, if we further classify Senate, Fanet, Vanet, they all are variants of uh, the manets. OK, so uh, IOT has a close relationship with mobile ad hoc network. OK, we cannot exactly call it. There is a debate where some people say that that is a variant of IOT. Some people say that some researchers say that is not exactly the variant of IOT uh, of the manet, but there is a close relationship between the manet and IOT. OK, so the thing is uh, the. What but what personally I feel is that IOT has uh, somewhere it has uh, 
the uh, uh, obviously it has a close relationship uh, not we can say that it is exactly the uh, this thing but yes wireless technology we can say the mobile networks if we just say the mobile network has two types of networks one is cellular network then other was is the mobile adduct network for example so mobile network at least can be called as a parent or grandparent of iot so the thing is uh, some of the areas which are related to your iot variants are that is the uh, um, internet of underwater things internet of underground things uh, that is the uh, uh, that is related to your uh, manets internet of drones okay uh, that is a, a internet of drones is uh, that is a variant of fanets fanets is your flying ad hoc networks okay flying ad hoc networks and internet of vehicles where all the vehicles we are connecting with the help of internet internet of drones where we are trying to connect all the drones through internet okay so internet of vehicles means we are trying to connect all the vehicles through internet that is the vanets so today i saw uh, one another word that is internet of radio that i will be telling you about uh, the uh, one of the st uh, 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 startup that is internet of radio uh, i also see that word internet of battlefield field things that is obviously it is a variant of manets so that is going to be the future remember this thing the internet of battlefield things so uh, the researchers or the uh, the colleges which are working which want to be part of the technologies various technology you can work with drdo to develop some peripheral devices or some peripheral technologies related to the battlefield things isn't it so internet of space things internet of nano things internet of bio nano things and internet of everything that is the mother of everything okay uh, so uh, this is the example of uh, internet of drones just have a close look on it there is a cloud is there i have given you the relationship between the internet of things that what is the what is the place of a sensor is sensor is collecting the information internet is passing the information cloud is uh, processing that particular information and giving back control instructions to the other related devices okay so you are able to understand the relationship between how the internet of things is working sensors are providing the information cloud is uh, actually uh, with the help of internet the information is reaching to the cloud clouds are processing one thing there is one difference i i would like to tell you one thing that there is a you must have heard about edge computing ubiquitous ubiquitous computing so edge computing is something which is which is replacing cloud computing which is not replacing which we we can say is uh, more money efficient in edge computing means we have certain processors on the edges means in between cloud and the uh, sensor so that obviously where cloud is cloud is something cloud are clouds are generally placed on those locations which could be very very far away from your uh, from the area where the service is actually needed so the overhead cost of power the delay isn't it it, it increases when the cloud is at at the distance so the the replacement for that thing is to reduce the delay to reduce the uh, cost for this thing is to have certain uh, processors uh, on the edges okay in between so that is the edge computing i have i have given you the uh, core idea behind edge computing is also what actually it is okay there could be other aspects also just telling you related to just uh, telling you uh, that in uh, that is related to the uh, internet of things okay so you can just have a uh, um, look onto this particular diagram where internet of drones multiple drones are there you just see that there are multiple drones which are moving uh, uh, now let me uh, just directly connecting means i i could not wait for uh, the, the the internet of uh, things information to pass on and then i start giving you uh, information related to the uh, the startups related Th there was a one idea i was into discussion with one of the some of the financiers what they were I, I, I have no problem in discussing this information with you uh, if something comes to your mind it is uh, uh, it is very good for india that in nowadays electrical vehicles are coming okay this is very good idea for all of you you can just work on it, on it or you can come to back contact to me also you uh, you can have my information from zabiha or you can you must have seen my mail ids also so you can just i will just show my mail ids to all of you you can just come back to me the one idea is that uh, the drones are carrying the batteries they are ca carrying the chargers or some kind of 
chargers so that the battery could be recharged at some distance where the uh, where the you can say the uh, the chargers are not uh, available okay so uh, it because india is a huge country and uh, uh, is a big size country usa is a big size country so this kind of technology can actually help that is the need of the hour in near future at a distance you are providing the charging capability with the help of drones okay so maybe this is not a new idea someone could be working on this thing but obviously uh, you can just have uh, someone by mistake has uh, uh, opened his uh, mic kindly close down uh, close that mic okay so what i was telling you is that is uh, the drone can help you there that is the internet of drones okay so let us move further what are the what could be the possible applications of internet of drones application is that uh, obviously law enforcement surveillance communication uh, i will request, request jabiha to identify the person and just uh, uh, mute that person by mistake maybe audience has did sir did sir okay i think that has been done so public safety communication environmental application logistic tracking military applications remember this thing i want to tell you one thing very very important we have seen the war between azerbaijan and say you're not audible sir ashish sir hello am i audible to uh, to all of you now yes sir now you are sir yes sir. okay i think uh, the administrator uh, must have uh, 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 means uh, the mute to all kind of button has been pressed by the this thing the administrator so that why this glitch came so uh, now i was telling you uh, about the uh, the war between the two countries uh, the armenia and the azerbaijan maybe i am pronoun not pronouncing that both the country names in a proper manner but yes we have to see that drones were the uh, key point between the country which won actually the azerbaijan uh, the uh, was a country which used the drone technology into very very effective manner and i'm telling you this thing that the fifth generation aircraft this is my sixth sense which what i say the fifth generation aircraft sixth generation aircraft these all are going to be the, uh, the, uh, the, the this all will become past and in near future the wars the air war will be uh, 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 means they will be won by with the help of drones whichever country is having the best of the drone technology is going to, to rule the uh, the air remember this thing so uh, mark my these words in 10 or 20 years you will see and azerbaijan won that particular war because of even the armenia has the backup of your uh, some of the european countries still it lo lost the war because the azerbaijan was having the drone technology the efficient drones which i think they got uh, from the uh, uh, from the turkey Turkey is one of the very important country nowadays into the uh, drone technology, and uh, even Pakistan is also getting lot of drone technology uh, from the uh, Turkey, and even Turkey is also supplying this drone technology to China or some other uh, countries also. If you have heard about uh, one of the uh, incident where some kind of uh, uh, arms were dropped by the Pakistan. Uh, into the territory of this thing so just imagine i'm not going to become political with this particular talk but just telling you the importance of drones and obviously acha i was uh, part of uh, because my uh, why this area is close to me is because i have 
certain papers on flying ad hoc networks. You, I have uh, certain papers on resource allocation. You can just find out that uh, I have two, three research papers uh, in SCI, uh, one in computer and electrical, also some of the very good papers written by me. Uh, that was the extension of my PhD works. So uh, in 2019-20, when we organized a workshop at that particular time, I was uh, able to and know that India is also having very good uh, 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 means. Uh, India is also emerging into a very fastly. It is emerging into a very good drone technology because uh, Indians were the first uh, uh, to have uh, the communication between multiple drones. The communication between the multiple drones so that uh, uh, they can communicate with uh, uh, this thing with each other and perform a common task. There is another technology which is related to this thing that is evolutionary computing is there, which is uh, which came into uh, uh, play for the for that particular technology. So the thing is, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, areas which are emerging out of the various areas. Uh, one is Internet of Drones and uh, it has huge amount of applications, huge number of applications are there. OK, so let us move further. Uh, am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in, yes, next is Internet of Vehicles that connecting the street lights, etc. For example, uh, a vehicle, uh, there, there is a uh, 100 kilometer road is there and uh, the no vehicle movement is there and uh, we not we want smart lights. OK, and if a uh, a vehicle is coming or a group of vehicle is coming from uh, uh, light traffic area is there and that vehicle is moving and from maybe after just before 5 to 10 kilometer back uh, 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 from the street light when the vehicle is 10 kilometer away from the street light the street light becomes on it is moving at the speed of 100 kilometer per hour maybe so with this the in internet of things with, with the internet of vehicles from multiple vehicles we are able to pass on the information to the street lights so that the smart sensors are there which which are which is actually reducing the usage of electricity uh, huge usage of electricity uh, 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 could be reduced with the help of technology. There can be other variants. There can be other uh, pros and cons that uh, why it should be com completely written and everything. So you can just uh, uh, go into the uh, the detail area of that thing. So I'm just uh, sharing you the outer uh, part of this thing because in the um, this much of time we can discuss this thing only. So Internet of Vehicles and other things. So uh, the various vehicles which are connected with the help of uh, Internet. Uh, where we can I I have taken one example that is the driving condition uh, this this particular part I've just discussed about the uh, driving condition uh, uh, voila this thing speed control we can manage the speed controls isn't it we, if the speed is increasing we can just find out that yes the speed speed is increasing for example if a vehicle is moving and uh, the tra this is very simple thing which already has happened that uh, the um, if a car is moving and uh, uh, and uh, the car is moving, for example, at the uh, and it find out that that there is a lot of traffic is there into a particular area. It can pass on the information to the previous cars which are coming into that particular direction so that they can change the this thing. So this has already happened in Google map and everything. We can see the red area, yellow area and blue area uh, so that we are able to identify this thing. This is very dynamic. Uh, smart red lights are there nowadays, isn't it? In Europe, I saw that a lot of uh, smart red lights we, we were see that there was a difference between Europe and India is that their pedestrians are given more weightage rather than a person who is sitting in a car. So their people uh, uh, sitting in the car are uh, just stopping for the, uh, the for the people who are moving uh, um, uh, we, which are moving on the cycle by, by bicycle or uh, on foot there if they are moving. OK, so a lot of things are there. Internet of underwater things are there. You can just see the uh, uh, um, there are sensors, uh, SM75 smart sensors, acoustic links are there, which are there, and uh, uh, surface stations are there, and uh, uh, the the uh, the land links are also available. Onshore sink uh, links are there, which are connected with the help of satellite. Satellite technology is also coming into it. So, Internet of underwater things are there. Where could be there could be various applications. There could be various uh, uh, applications. Uh, uh, at the port also it can be there it can be also used in the uh, warfare technology could be also there which could be used in terms of battlefield things this is nowadays happening very day uh, very fastly which is happening we have already discussed about the 
uh, fa fanets that is a flying ad hoc networks we have already uh, discussed about the drones and uh, see this is the shape of a reaper is that the smart uh, um, one of the smart uh, uh, drone uh, which is uh, being used by in the warfare technologies okay so without any pilot they are uh, uh, moving and a person is uh, controlling it by sitting uh, maybe 100 or 200 km away from um, from the actual location where it is uh, so uh, this is the uh, power of technologies in terms of space of things is there uh, where uh, multiple satellites are uh, joining with each other and we maybe we need not have to uh, 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 launch multiple uh, uh, satellites for multiple uh, applications so the uh, some of the technologies uh, are uh, some of the technologies uh, are actually helping uh, uh, means the internet of uh, uh, space things are he he are helping to save some uh, this thing just a second hello yeah. yes sir Sorry for the glitch. Uh, and Internet of Space things you have seen. And uh, now let us move further. Uh, Internet of Nano things can be there. Internet of Bio Nano things are there, uh, uh, where uh, the it it could be helpful in uh, if, uh, uh, your uh, medical related problems where uh, 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 bio sensors and everything uh, are there, which is helping us uh, multiple these things. Okay, Th these all are various areas. Internet of everything. So you can just see the data is there, processes are there, and uh, uh, people are there which are using it, and things are there. So you can just have a look on it that how the internet of everything is uh, actually. So what my goal of my talk is to give you the broad perspective about what actually IoT is and where uh, it can spread its tentacles is means where the uh, means uh, until where the internet of things have actually. Uh, uh, gone into okay so uh, this is another perspective of internet of things we are moving to the edge see i have already discussed uh, discuss about the edge technology isn't it that we have seen the importance of network cloud evolution uh, decentralized actions of businesses isn't it decentralization is very very important Lo uh, uh, the modi ji has given uh, one uh, indian government has given the local pay vocal something like this isn't it so the Local area only we are trying to manufacture it. We are able to consume it. We are so localized solutions are nowadays very much in instead of the centralized solutions. OK, so uh, uh, see the disadvantage. If I am the speaker and I am the person who is controlling this particular talk, isn't it? I'm the central person. So if there are multiple speakers available, if I am not available, other person can speak, isn't it? So that is a decentralization. So uh, uh, distributed information capturing uh, decentralization of so large distributed networks need another perspective that is the uh, distributed in uh, uh, approaches or decentralized this decentralized approach blockchain is very Im another important technology which is going to play very important role as far as the internet of things is concerned although i doubt that blockchain can play uh, um, because because if, see blockchain actually uh, is something uh, uh, which is uh, which needs huge amount of uh, electricity which needs huge amount of um, electricity backup so uh, the in, where, where the internet of things it has uh, certain things which uh, which are actually just a second so in the internet of things we have uh, the sensors are there, uh, some uh, movable uh, kind of dynamic kind of uh, processors are there or drones are there which have less battery backups. So uh, we have to see that how uh, the efficient blockchain technology can be used. Blockchain is very important uh, technology nowadays, which is coming uh, in this thing. Okay. So the origination of uh, IoT, um, okay. Means this is although you will say that the whole IoT we have already discussed and now I am coming into the origination. Just have a look on this origination point that distributed systems. This is something 
and in the dist what is distributed system is distributed system is a collection of independent computers isn't it and the internet uh, means multiple computers are joined together and it becomes a single coherent system then we, we call it as a distributed system okay so model of distributed systems can be your synchronous systems asynchronous system partially synchronous system synchronous means which are clock dependent asynchronous which are event based which are not exactly clocked and obviously asynchronous is faster and uh, uh, difficult to manage also and synchronous networks are clock dependent but obviously they are comparatively slow so we need a hybrid kind of approach that is a partial synchronous networks okay so the other thing is model of distributed system that is the ipc methods are there that is the uh, internet uh, um, uh, the, the, that is the uh, inter process communication is uh, there uh, which is happening there are two types of this thing is that one is a shared memory which obviously goes to the grid technology actually where the memory is shared to everything but when we have localized memory like the in the internet every computer has its own local memory which is not directly connected to the uh, other this thing so that is the message passing system becomes which actually the internet or uh, fanet and manet maximum of the systems are message passing systems this is one very important diagram but uh, due to lack of time i will not be able to give the much more time to the these distributed uh, system types you can have just have a look on to this now this is the advantages obviously you all know that resource sharing better performance to per price ratio scalability openness communication the means of why i am uh, i uh, these slides are that the current kind of characteristics you have seen for the iot is almost uh, somewhere they are similar to the distributed systems variants of distributed systems is uh, your ww that is worldwide web cellular network sensor mobile computing mobile computing already it to cellular in the manage and manage gives birth to your this is client server uh, the most uh, uh, simple kind of technology that is now i am giving you another aspect exact variants of iot now i am telling about the origination point could be possible origination point of iot where i am i am claiming that iot is one of the uh, uh, variant of distributed system distant variant of uh, distributed systems and the other variants are somewhere related to your iot the client server model for example okay we can see several uh, uh, basic models which uh, support the client architecture model uh, that is the, as the amalgamation of the iot and the client server architecture okay the mobile computing systems we can say that amalgamation of the iot and the mobile computing okay mobile computing means mobile devices are there which are using the internet and uh, passing the information or uh, to the things okay so there is a kind of combination of something with the uh, uh, that is the mobile com computing we can say is the inherent part of iot okay uh, if the thing of iot it is mobile and performing amalgamation of iot and mobile computing so okay mobile computing you all know that there are certain devices i am moving from bottom up approach telling you about firstly about the uh, the collection and we all know the definition of mobile computing which is uh, changing the location portability is the important aspect okay so mobile computing has certain uh, your uh, this thing uh, the applications and the characteristics okay so there are uh, certain types of mobile co uh, computing applications cellular mobile sensor internet of things vehicular ad hoc networks and flying ad hoc networks mm. okay so um, um, one is cellular and mobile ad hoc network i place both the technologies one uh, cellular is something there is a base station is there and it has a, the kind of mobile which we are using this mobile which we are using uh, has is connected to your base station so that is a cellular fixed fixed infrastructure based fixed that is now listen carefully the difference exact difference between the cellular and the wireless uh, and the managed fixed infrastructure based and with, without fixed uh, infrastructure that is a mobile ad hoc network isn't it ad hoc what is, what do you mean by ad hoc uh, if i say uh, i am regular sir isn't it there was a joke also no in the i did film that i am a regular faculty member sir so there was a librarian which come to uh, this thing and say that so that is means regular or the fixed and the which is ad hoc okay so ad hoc which is temporary which can be uh, taken from one place to another place also so mobile ad hoc networks some of the characteristics see you can see the some kind of similar characteristics of these thing uh, this thing limited computation power limited battery backup mobility is there high mobility is there 
लो स्टोरेज पावर एर एन एस लिंक्स मीन्स लिंक्स कैन ब्रेक एंड मेन कैन बी मेड वेरी इजिली द आई ओ टी क्लाउड मैनेट फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ स्मार्ट जस्ट सी दिस रेड एंड ब्लू दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन दीज आर दीज सेम एब मैंशन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आर इन सिंक विद द आई ओ टी नेटवर्क ओके सो आई ओ टी क्लाउड मैनेट फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ स्मार्ट cloud services to the manic user these are this is important line just read it and try to understand this thing that this is the crux behind this talk is that yes this is a uh, multidisciplinary approach there are multiple uh, areas multiple research areas uh, which are connected to the this thing okay so iot cloud manic framework uh, of smart devices can access and deliver the cloud services to the manic users so now the vehicular ad hoc networks we have already seen the internet of vehicles now we are looking at the uh, 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 vehicular ad hoc networks it actually leads to internet of vehicles this is the diagrammatic representation a smart vehicle okay flying ad hoc networks we have already seen civil linear and um, uh, military applications are there the 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 connection is the internet of drones we have already seen that the pictorial representation the difference between the manet panet and vanet one of the major panet and vanet area the covered area the communication area manet has a lowest communication area vanet has higher panet could have more uh, and and dynamism is the uh, there can be relationship between vanet and panet the dynamics is dynamism means the moving uh, the fast the, the the way they are moving okay how fast they are moving so the computings are there these are related words uh, let us uh, uh, see the more uh, important aspects of this thing so wireless sensor network i have already told you that is the backbone of iot it is their peripherals uh, which is uh, collecting processing and analyzing the information and also uh, disseminating the uh, data from this thing cloud computing we have already discussed uh, is a business model which Uh, delivers the hosted services on the uh, internet okay cloud computing is something which uh, some of the aspects of uh, cloud computing are internet as a service platform as a service software as a service okay so iot network calculations are performed on cloud just see this uh, uh, yellow uh, this uh, highlighted test that is a network this i have already told you this thing okay so iot devices uh, one of the diagram this gateway if if on the gateway some kind of uh, information is there uh, where some kind of calculation uh, can be done on the gateway part then it becomes the edge computing okay so major iot challenges well, some of the challenges related to is high cost which is required in the investment so these are the challenges where the researchers can work upon and uh, concern about the security and privacy that is the one of the core it is uh, not available means uh, senior management are, is not able to understand the importance of iot uh, they are not having that much of information so their calculation is available uh, and is stored in a cloud and that cloud is support, uh, is uh, is for example is uh, present in a cheaper area where electricity is cheap manpower is cheap and that is in the tanzania that is where a dam is there a very uh, cheap electricity is very cheap manpower is so how that your Yes, multiple countries have this kind of regulation that their data their citizens data cannot cross the uh, uh, the boundary so these are certain data privacy related this is actually related to your cloud so but see everything is related isn't it so uh, the absence of uh, business case or business models and uh, see whenever uh, a new area is uh, uh, coming to existence you have to do lot of the related why i say that running a startup or writing a research paper are two important things when you are studying the uh, when you are studying the related work or the literature startup also you are studying you are st studying all the related startups available into that particular technology about that particular application 
and or the related startups which could uh, become your uh, uh, competitor in your future what are the requ requirement of the users are what are the cost basis uh, what are the cost related issues are related to this thing so these all things you have to read so there is a close relationship between a running a startup startup also emerges there is a core idea is there we study a lot then startup is uh, take birth and incubation centers like these the kind of incubation center which has hel helped me uh, which has invited me uh, could nurture those uh, could nurture those uh, startups see i am telling you about the startups also isn't it can can nurture the startups they can go for the funding part there can be a uh, there can be a, a your guide or a mentor is there in the form of your hod sir or in in the form of uh, zabiha ma'am who can guide you that what could be the possible uh, ways in which you can uh, move in near future maybe at the early, early stages isn't it every person maybe is not helpful in all the stages but in the early stages your faculty members your uh, your, your senior management uh, can help you uh, to uh, to uh, start your work isn't it reliable coverage okay so these are the possible areas reduced data to be stored and processing and storage power consumption energy harvesting and something like this so standardization is interoperability we have already seen that multiple types of hardwares are there so how they are how they can work in tandem okay heterogeneity we have already seen interfaces to the cloud servers also some of the other possible areas which are related to leader election resource allocation and security so resource allocation problem types of resources this is not exactly related let us see some of the iot applications smart home smart health smart television smart cities okay these are very uh, simple things uh, you can just have a diagrammatic representation and these are not things which i should be explaining to you just diagrammatically you can see and you are using these things in the in your daily lives but you are not having the idea that maybe you are not having the exact idea that these are part of your iot systems okay so smart home uh, scalability of the iot systems smart city uh, uh, smart health internet of medical things okay this is one of the major areas which is coming into existence internet of medical things where lot of startups are coming okay electronic uh, healthware pebble watches are there application these all are the your these all are related to your startups only these all are the devices or the something i have uh, see this is application of iot one one this thing i i want to tell you one thing one of my student was working uh, with me he was from electrical background but worked with me for around 2 3 years uh, on various uh, research papers nowadays he is working in one of the india's only uh, um, uh, firm uh, which is also working with the uh, uh, one of the startup i'm i'm forgetting the name of the startup he is uh, uh, having one prominent position in that particular startup and we also invited him in our college for the talk also he is uh, making the uh, uh, cheaper version of the uh, uh, the uh, the medical devices which are of 10 lakhs or something like that okay they are making it into 20000 50000 into that much so just imagine uh, the con means uh, constantly monitoring physiological status uh, related devices they are making those devices so india is actually uh, really moving into the into the right direction the only thing is is the requirement is the scalability and the people uh, uh, like you me and other people when they are will be using those technologies or working into those startups multiple startups will when will be coming out then only the india can become a super power or something like that or a uh, power which can uh, guide the other nations okay remote patient monitoring so when i was uh, i was just uh, tell you one uh, uh, this thing when i completed my phd i was sitting uh, for my uh, final viva so there was a person sitting in the uh, 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 means uh, you know that uh, the clerical staffs are there then they become very important part uh, of any educational institutes uh, so he uh, said to me that what is the usage of your uh, phd work is i said that uh, when people like me are uh, are in lakhs in numbers so some uh, important newtons and uh, this thing so why indian cricket team is uh, so strong because even in one gully or something like that in all the streets there are uh, people they are playing this thing so everyone knows that how the cricket is played so that's why we have Uh, uh, so many good players which is our bench strength is so strong so that is a core idea behind it so he got the idea that what actually is the importance of research is and why all and every student should understand the importance of research and 
in near future we will be uh, coming up with certain related courses related to purely based on research that why the how research can be done actually so these are the challenges in iiot uh, these are the attacks this slide is actually related to purely based on the security of iot infrastructure innovations see the innovations there are there are around 27% now see the data which is related to your uh, innovation there is around 27% in the iot startups from 2092 to 19 to the today earlier it was uh, 26792 now it is 34120 just imagine 35000 startups are already there which are working in the iot area isn't it so uh, Uh, just imagine from 2019 uh, to 20 uh, we are the we have reached to the 4.7 billion uh, kind of uh, uh, dollars of the uh, uh, this thing funding into the, uh, uh, the the see the emerging area the uh, the uh, the, uh, the kind of uh, are, are in the earlier days when i used to give talks on cloud computing i used to tell about in 2010 it is uh, in 2020 uh, in uh, in 2020 it is going to be of 100 billion or something like that you can see that it has already come to 4.7 billion dollars okay and in near future it is going to become of 72 billion to 38 billions okay so uh, these are the forecasts and it can become 385 billion to 687 billion in 2025 so important points is not the data important point is that there is lot of scope is there in these kinds of uh, 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 startups amazon's alexa uh, apple siri everything is part of iot startups and tech startups are there okay uh, when uh, as far as the india is concerned okay let me tell you one more thing for example if there is a smart technology is available in the european country and they are using that particular technology uh, for their startups or their research related areas so it is not a, a necessary that that particular technology when will be implemented in india directly into the india will give the uh, that kind of desired result which it, it is giving us the intelligent people in india or the startup people have to identify that what actually is the requirement of indian people is actually isn't it we have to identify those requirements and when we are able to identify those requirements then only those ideas can be implemented over here so this is also a kind of research this is also a kind of new startup uh, this thing this is another area of startups where already some kind of homework has already been done remember this thing whenever you are doing your phd your phd guide always say that no new uh, totally new things cannot be accepted why the thing is to define totally a new area is very very difficult things so you have to be very much sure when you are writing a research paper when you are claiming something that is it is yours so uh, but if it has some kind of backward compatibility is there some kind of related work is if it is there it becomes easier to this thing so uh, uh, being a uh, resource uh, uh, starved country we can work on those startups also which already are in, um, uh, there uh, there uh, there are uh, there are uh, some startups and uh, we can uh, uh, work in that dire direction also so there are around 100 smart cities which are coming up and huge number of startups can be uh, come so these are some of the top uh, iot based startups one is the army security which is uh, uh, the enterprise which is uh, related to they are uh, they are helping the Uh, the uh, uh, the lot of uh, uh, the uh, companies from the cyber attacks best style that is the internet of radios okay for example if i am sitting in delhi and i want to you listen uh, the although it is a very old technology it is comparatively old technology but i don't know uh, all the uh, listeners are knowing this thing or not uh, i heard this uh, technology around 3 to 4 years back when some of the startups are were using it uh, that is on the fms there there are certain kinds of fms for example i want to listen uh, the local music of kanyakumari by sitting in uh, in uh, in jammu kashmir or maybe in delhi or in bombay how can i listen that obviously if you know this thing that fm or the this thing is is confined to a smaller area so that is something with the help of internet if that particular songs when they are being played upon are transferred to a uh, are transferred to a distant location and uh, with the help of uh, some storage devices that can be stored over there obviously there will be delay but obviously that delay will not be affecting the person who is listening the song so that can be 
uh, transferred like this. So you, I, I hope you have got the idea. So Benstyle already has 17 US patents. I'm pretty much sure that Internet of Radio is also working on this direction only. They have already uh, 17 US, uh, uh, community radios are there. You can you must have heard about the 17 US patents already they have. OK, so patenting is also very important. We have come up. Uh, I already told you that uh, patents uh, are uh, going to become this thing. So Indian startups are there. That, that is a Stella apps. The founders are uh, Rachninath Mukundan and uh, the Venkatesh uh, uh, Sesha Sayya founded in 2011. They are from IIT uh, and they are based out at uh, Bengaluru. OK, and uh, they have their own largest milking parlor. OK, so in agriculture also there are a lot of startups are uh, which are coming. OK, some of the IoT based ideas where uh, startups can come is Internet of drones charging batteries. I've already discussed agriculture based IoT startups are also there. This is my shortened bibliography.